Hey, what's going on guys? This is Jose, the California beekeeper. I wanted to share this up here at the um, new bee yard. Pretty excited. So we initially came up here to really do an upgrade on the fence just because I worry about the stinking bear. Even though we got, we have it set up pretty good. I mean, in my opinion, this is good, but I've had some fellow beekeepers that are very familiar with bears and bear damage um, and just told me, don't risk it. It's easier to invest two, three hundred dollars on a bear fence than a bear coming in. All he needs to do is destroy two colonies and that's it. That's the cost. That would have been the cost of your fence. So took that advice and we are going to just put some hog wire here. We are very new to bears that are uh, well our go-getters huh so we don't want to deal with that here um, we are in unfamiliar territory and we're not gonna risk it we do only have brought in three more singles here um, I ended up scat uh, stacking a couple over here I think it was uh, two I stacked two over here like I said we initially came over here to feed and give them some supplement, pollen subs, uh, substitute. Just, you know, it's a, it's a good drive over here. We don't know what to expect, so we came prepared. We brought our feed. We even brought pollen. Well, after looking at the singles, very, very happy. So I'm gonna show you guys what they did in, in a week on the ones that were already established there. I mean, they're rocking. Here is one that was already a double deep. You can see. All this is frost. Now, what they're getting in to, I have no clue, okay? Again, we are new to this area, but we're definitely gonna get familiar with it and gonna see what they produce so I tried some of this honey sweet um, just not sure what it is it's not awful it's not bad um, it's different it's different but it's good so I just need to do some research and find out what they're bringing in what blooms out in this area it is July July mid July so we are in Plumas Plumas County so we will see what they're bringing in but for now we're just gonna stack this and we're gonna stack it with the Ross round I feel this one is pretty strong it's a chance that it just might bring something in so we're gonna give it a shot again Ross rounds had zero luck down in the valley well not in the valley but in the canyon we had zero luck. We're gonna hope that uh, these girls can do something for us and produce some honey. It's gonna be fun. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and stack it, put an excluder, put the Ross Round um, Super on and uh, cross our fingers. All right, let me show you another one that's just bringing it in. This one I just stacked, okay? I stacked, before I brought it here, I stacked it. And I just stacked it because downstairs was looking pretty good. So I just wanted to um, not lose it by, by it swarming, but it looks like it's producing something. 
They're a little aggressive. So, I don't like lighting sponges. Uh, I mean, look at this. Beautiful. Yeah, just be gentle, be calm, and uh, see what's going on. Okay, so this hive, I ended up stacking. It was a single, and uh, I'll show you really what's Looks like it's bringing in some stuff. So, all that is brand new. I mean, we just put this a week ago. Um, and it's not a heavy flow, but again, this was empty. And they seem to be working it. They seem to be working it. A little frost here and there. She's already laying up here. This is all empty supers, um, cleaned up frames that we did up in the shop. Um, she's already laying. I mean, that's great. Means that something's good happening around here. Let's show you this other foundation. Now, this was all blank foundation. Great, great stuff. Show you this other one. You can see it at an angle. That's all brand new. Junk frame. I usually like to keep my junk frames um, and the outsides. So the reason why I keep these junk frames to the outside is because come come spring, um, we are going to replace them. So I do not want them to draw any brood. Uh, in those frames, so I always like to keep them in the outside. So, you can see all that, that's brand new right here. And, uh, put the foundation there. And my nicer frames that have good uniform comb, I will keep in the center in order for her to lay out. Um, and when I say uniform, comb, clean comb. I don't want drone brood uh, comb. Um, and I don't want them to work too hard. So whatever nice frames I have uh, for her to lay in, I usually keep them in the center. Uh, the center four frames, usually. See, this one's really old, that one's really old. And we'll keep our nicer frames up here in the middle. So, pretty excited, that's cool. Let's, uh, let's close it up and show you something else. Show you guys what they're doing over here. This was another one that was a candidate to get stacked, but it's not quite looking good as good as the other one. But let's see if we can show you something. Take this feeder out. See a little. Yeah, looks like they're bringing it in. Now all this, all these boxes here, they haven't got. These got haven't fed for about I don't know 14 days. Again, we were gonna feed them, and thank goodness. When you have bee yards, if you land a good bee yard, and that you don't know. What to expect it's just an ideal location away from everybody away from the valley floor away from the heat here today it's hot down in the valleys i believe it's 106 today here ideal it is uh about 88 i think i saw on my thermostat in my truck and uh but they're bringing it in that's perfect honey making weather 88 90s perfect so um, we didn't know what to expect. Man, I don't know how many times I got to say that, but I'm going to say it because um, I'm glad. I'm glad I came prepared and don't have to use it. So, you know, we are going to feed singles though. That's one thing I do do. Um, 
we, as much as we want to make honey, honey is a bonus. Um, honey is a bonus for our operation. Um, for most, you know, some people do make a living selling honey, making honey. Um, and, you know, in California, we just don't produce the amounts that some other guys do in the Midwest. Um, that doesn't mean we don't make honey. We make some specialty honey. I kid you not. Um, we have some friends down in the coast. They make all sorts of honey. Avocado honey, uh, sage honey, <laughs> lavender honey. There's, there's so many honeys out there here in California. That's one thing that I do love about California is that there's a variety um, types of honey out there for us to be able to produce. It's just, there's so many bees out here in California um, and we just really try to find the new areas to move in in order to produce these good honeys that uh, we have here in California. So I want to show you guys a shakeout. Um, the right way from an outside frame okay this is pretty pretty cool stuff so let's see if we can get it good now that is some pretty decent shakeout So they're bringing it in. They are bringing it in. You can see a little frost here on the, on the top. Not much, but they are storing it. it smells very strong. Wow. Man, I'm really curious to see what's going on in here. All right, that's the first brood frame. Excellent. Excellent. Let's move these things back in. And we're gonna try something, huh? So, we are gonna put a foundation somewhere there. We're gonna put some foundation and see if they draw it out. Give it a shot, huh? All right, we're gonna put some foundation. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put the date. There we go. And we will put it towards the, right before that brood. I think I'm gonna take another frame out. And, uh, Well, maybe I'll be able to jam it in. I normally only like to put nine frames, but when you're sticking in foundation, I do prefer, if I'm drawing out any type of foundation, I will jam in 10 frames on my tame frame box. Um, and the reason why I, I'll cram them in is because that's the only way they're gonna draw them out nice and uniform. Now you can have nine frames and squeeze them in together, but then you're left with some gaps on each side and they will, will sometimes draw out some comb and you just have to clean it up. So if you are gonna introduce some foundation, just go ahead and introduce it. Put 10 frames and squeeze them in tight. Like so, put this date. We have our foundation put in and uh, we'll close it up. This one will not have a feeder and we'll just see what it does. Thumbs up. Wanted to show you guys really quick this uh, the upgrade. We're using the uh, hog fence and we're gonna tie it into our electric fence. Um, but in order to utilize that hog fence, we don't want it to touch the ground and we don't want it to touch our T-post. In order to do that, we 
got these sleeves here and I'll, I'll end up zip tying these right in here like so just so the uh, the hog fence doesn't touch the metal all it is is just a sleeve you know you could have gone with a PVC pipe um, this will work fine as long as we're able to secure this top end that way it doesn't fall down so we're gonna secure this like so and uh, wrap it around we ended up putting one more t-post here and just because I didn't plan for this I uh, well I just didn't plan for it so we ended up adding a t-post here that way we can sleeve this and uh, we'll just show you how it's how it's done I got to drive another one right over here just make this our charger post there this one's kind of flimsy I don't know why it's just soft ground here but we're gonna drive a post right here That was just so the electric fence doesn't touch the post. But we're gonna put a new one right here. Are you excited? Yeah. All right. The PVC pipe, if it wasn't so expensive, really we would have just gone with it. Um, but we'd be scrapping. Uh, they only sold it, I believe, in like, uh, I don't know, what was it? It was like eight foot pieces. And really they were just going to come up just a little bit short. So as far as what we needed. Here it is. Curve it. Curve it. Just wait. Rest. And, uh, yeah, that's perfect. We'll go wrap that other one really quick. Oh. What's that for? Hi! Oh! Pick -a -pick -a -pick -a -pick. <laughs> Drop this one down. Oh, it's pretty slick. Just pull them like, almost like an accordion, huh? Step on it, pull it up, curb it. I Grab your cutters. So we got them all covered. I don't know, we might end up putting one right here in the middle. So, why not? No, I did not fart. The bees. I think the bees burped. The bees burped because they're they're making so much honey. I was walking away and I uh, I well I tooted. All right. And Max called me out. It's pretty difficult. You know, I put one of these things up using a bobcat and you had a little pulley to tighten your fence. We don't have a bobcat, we don't have a pulley. So we're gonna do the best that we can. Let me get my gloves on. Get after it. Um, we got it laid out. Now what we have to do is make sure that it's not touching the, uh, the ground cover. And it's pretty important we don't touch the ground cover just so we don't uh, mess up with the power for the fence um, so we'll just have it elevated just a little bit um, enough to feel comfortable that it's not gonna drop down and touch it cause like a short so how we will do that is I will 
wrap it with some wire here and this is not gonna sag so we are gonna make sure that that stays in place we'll st stretch all these little pieces down just to make sure it doesn't drag that fence down so all right the, the next step that we're gonna do is we're just gonna pull it by hand and wrap it on every post that way it stays secure. Um, I feel like I can get it nice and tight. We don't need to do the truck or the straps and tighten it. Um, I'm pretty sure I can, with my weight leaning back, wrapping that wire on that post should be okay. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, we got everything set up now um, debating on my entrance I was gonna go just with just run the regular wire but you know if he's a smart bear he's gonna get in so what I'm gonna do is cut some of this hog fence and just tie it that way it's separate uh, until I kind of figure out what I can use as my entrance that's what it looks like so far it's not the tightest all right it's not the tightest uh this is all by hand uh, this hog wire is got some good gauge i'll just show you really quick what it looks like so these little rivets here like i was saying this accordion accordion like stuff um just tied it to give it a little tension here up here so we just hook this up this is just for my for my entrance okay other than that we went all the way around and these are units insulating our t-post wrapped it around there so we're pretty secure all the way around so like i said this was our entrance just wrapped it snipped it and then i wrapped it around you could see i mean it's nothing fancy for your gate you could use so many different things but I felt like I needed to um, just to be able to know that I did it right was I still used hog wire fence as my entrance and ideally if I knew the bear would you know if I knew the bear wasn't gonna mess with my stuff our hives um, likely we wouldn't have this right but we do have the unknown and I would like to feel confident that the bear's not going to get in so we went with the hog wire fence on the entrance it's pretty secure so we're feeling really good i would have never thought this but thankfully that we got beekeepers out here in, in our area in california that um just doesn't mind shooting us some tips um since we're not really familiar on how aggressive these bears can be and how much damage so just remember guys if you are in bear country and you aren't sure invest some money and invest some money if it's 400 even 500 dollars like i said you could always reuse this fence we will end up rolling up this yard is going to be our yard and we're going to use it so this will just stay up really just in the amount of hives that we have here which isn't many all he needs to do is destroy two pallets and really that would have been it you know two pallets that's your cost of your fence so if you aren't sure don't risk it just go ahead and get yourself your proper fencing uh, whatever it is that you need to do in order to keep that yogi bear out so um, I hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't already subscribed to this channel go down below hit that subscribe button guys give us a big thumbs up on this video I know we're working on a lot of fencing videos but hey 
you know what we're we're upgrading and it's not like it's not working it's we want to sleep well and that's why we're doing this so go check us out on instagram on facebook at the california beekeeper all right check you out